Now, there is a rise in demand for green packaging globally, and the country is not to be left behind. Joining us in the studio is one of the driving forces in terms of mitigating, in this mission to mitigate the impact of plastic and chemical waste. Please welcome Ako Packaging and Eco Nest Philippines co-founder, Nikki Sevilla. Nikki, thank you very much for joining us. Hi. All right, so Nikki, let's go straight to it because uh, sure. taking a look at this business and we're seeing some of the material here right now, what got you into all of this, fighting plastic waste, fighting chemical waste, and we're seeing it as part of food packaging here that we have in front of us. Uh, well, it all started in 2018. Actually, uh, long before that, I was very into like fighting plastic pollution mm -hmm. because I've always been traveling around the world, going to different places, and I've been seeing its impact. Uh, the reason why I really pushed to come up with a one-stop shop to support entrepreneurs and business owners here in the Philippines to switch to eco-friendly packaging or compostable packaging items. Mm -hmm. What are they made of, for those wondering? Uh, a lot of things, but they're basically made from regenerative materials. So when we say regenerative materials, they come from the soil mm -hmm. or they can come from the sea. So just an example, uh, the bagasse here are made from sugar cane. We also have cassava bags over here, and then we have corn cups. So the lining, instead of plastic, it's made from corn. Mm, okay. So it's fully compostable, meaning you can compost it from home. If, even if you throw it away, it can be eaten by microorganisms. And okay. we also have, like this one, it looks like plastic. So, but, but it's, it's not actually, plastic. Okay. It's not plastic. It's, it's made from corn. And even the straw, they're made from coffee. Mm -hmm. And uh, just recently, we launched uh, seed paper. So this one, it's infused with spinach seeds. Mm -hmm. And then it can be used for invitations, gift cards, etc. Mm, all right. So you call this uh, sustainable packaging for a circular world. Yes. I'm really curious about your background, Mo, because you have a lot of food packaging here. You actually took up culinary arts when you were younger. Was there a, <laughs> was there a, poor, a point in your life that, like, oh, we're wasting too much. We need to do Ish, better yes. than this. Is, was there a turning point that made you say, okay, I need to devote my life to this, especially with regards yeah. to food? So that's actually how I started. So um, I joined different bazaars. So I used to cook. Um, I baked um, eggplant lasagna. And then there was one bazaar who said, you should not use any type of plastic. So mm. I took it seriously. I went to the supermarket. I tried looking for eco-friendly packaging items that doesn't contain any plastic. But unfortunately, the labels would say green, eco-packaging, la la la. And then when you check the composition of the material, it's always 50% plastic, 50% renewable yeah. material. So it's like very misleading. I'm like, wow, this is, this is not, not good for the people if you want to switch to plastics then there must be an option that's really plastic free. So that's when uh, I got curious, I started researching, and then I found out in other countries, they're using fully compostable packaging materials mm. already. And I was wondering, how come we don't have it here in the Philippines? So that's how the idea came about. So I, I talked to my business partner, now my husband, and then he said that uh, we should start uh, introducing these eco-friendly packaging items in the Philippines. And then fortunately enough, uh, in 2021, we're able to put up a factory here yeah. in the Philippines. So now we're locally manufacturing the cassava bags. Now, from a business standpoint, how big is the market for this? And of course, you mentioned you have a factory. What is your mm -hmm. production capacity in your, um, to meet those demands? Right now, our production capacity for the cassava bags is, is at 600,000 pieces. Mm -hmm. But in real life here in the Philippines, we consume around 2.74 million tons, mm. uh, tons uh. per year, per annum. So cool so that, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very, very small. But at, uh, at this point, in time, I really need to raise awareness about this because yeah. people are in some way resistant to change or hesitant to switch uh, because of the material, its characteristics, no? and especially uh, always because of the pricing. But at the end of the day, you have to see the value in these items given that they're really good for the earth because it can be returned back to nature. Yeah, so one of the, that's going to be one of the issues for sure. Before we let you go, for those who want to uh, see, see these products, for those who want to avail these products, uh, how can they reach out to you? Uh, you can visit www.acopackaging.com or www.econesph.com. We're on Instagram, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, everywhere. And tomorrow we will have an exhibit uh, with MMDA Road to Zero Waste. So it's... Um, from November 5 to 6, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Perfect. Again, that is Welcome Ako Packaging and Econest Philippines co-founder Nikki Sevilla. Maram salamat. Thank you so much. And continue for the great me. work. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.